How to enable macros in Excel? Excel is a productivity software program used by millions of people around the world. Did you know that the advanced features are available in Excel that allow you to do more than just fill cells? With macros, it's possible to automate your work with particular tasks and make your work with Excel much easier. In this quick tutorial, you will learn what macros are and how to enable macros in Excel. What are macros in Excel? Macros are a great way to automate your work in Excel. Whether you are a power user who wants to save time by automating repetitive tasks or you just need to take your productivity up a notch, macros are a great way to do that. In Excel, macros are a way to automate repetitive activities. They allow you to insert code into your workbook that will execute automatically whenever you make a certain type of change, such as inserting a new sheet or range of cells. This can save your time and effort and help you to make your workflow more efficient. Before we proceed to learn how to enable macros in Excel, it is important for you to know about a few technologies. Here are a few. Macros are disabled as are security alerts regarding macros. This option is called Disable VBA Macros without notification in Excel and it only affects VBA macros. All macros with notification are disabled. Macros are disabled, however, if there are any security alerts show. On a case-by-case -case basis, enable macros. This option is called Disable VBA Macros with notification in Excel and it only affects VBA macros. Except for digitally signed macros, disable all macros. If there are unsigned macros, they are disabled and security alerts are disabled. If the macros is digitally authenticated by a reputable publisher, however, it just runs. If the macros are designed by a publisher you haven't yet trusted, you will be given the option to enable it and trust the publisher. Disable VBA macros except digitally signed macros is an option in Excel that solely affects VBA macros. Turn on all macros. All macros are executed without prompting. This setting exposes your machine to dangerous software. This option only relates to VBA macros in Excel and is called Enable VBA macros. When VBA macros are enabled, Excel additionally contains a checkbox for Enable Excel 4.0 macros. All of the above mentioned options for VBA macros will also apply to Excel 4.0 XLM macros if we check this box. XLM macros are disabled without warning if this checkbox is not selected. Now, without wasting time, let's quickly jump on how to enable macros in Excel. There are different ways in which you can enable macros in Excel. Here are the methods. When the message bar displays, enable macros. The yellow notification bar with the shield icon and the enable content button shows when you open a file with macros. Use the following methods if you know the macros come from the trusted source. First, click enable content in the message bar. Finally, the file opens and appears to be a reliable document. When macros are present in the file, the message bar looks like this. Second, in the trust center, change the macro setting. The trust center has macro settings. If your equipment is handled by your workspace or school, however, the sister administration may block you from making changes. First, navigate to the file tab. After that, you need to choose options. Once on options, you need to click on the trust center. Now, you need to go to the Trust Center settings. Then, click on Macro setting in the Trust Center. Finally, make your desired selections, then click OK. Note, when you alter your macro setting in the Trust Center, just the office program you are now using is affected. All of your office programs, micro settings remain unchanged. Third, only enable macros for this session. To enable macros for the duration of the file's open state, follow the steps below. 
the report comes again when you close and reopen the file. First, navigate to the file tab. Now click enable content in the security warning area. After that, choose advanced settings. For each macro, click enable content for this session in the Microsoft Office Security Options dialog box. Finally, click OK. Macros in Excel are a valuable tool that can help you streamline your work. When you enable macros, you give yourself the ability to record various commands and then play them back at any time. This can save your time and make your work process more efficient. However, there are certain times when you should disable macros in Excel. Hopefully, now you know how to enable macros in Excel and this quick tutorial has helped you to understand why you need to enable macros in Excel as well as some practical application for it in your workbook. If you want to learn more about Excel, connect with us and let us know the problems you are facing while working on Excel. If you like this video, then hit the like button and also subscribe and share this video with others.